A very quick update here on net gas, gold, silver and crude oil starting with natural gas. So what do we have right here? So if you have seen my yesterday's video, I've said that I'll be looking to enter my buy trade with this bullish engulfing pattern. So yes, we have a valid bullish engulfing pattern that is also one of my buy signal, but I did not enter this trade. I'm going to tell you the reasons and I'm going to tell you how you can enter the trade. Or if you are already in the trade, I'm going to give you some conditions for aggressive entry and for less aggressive entry. So as you can see, the price made a new high right here. And after that, we have to pull back followed by a nice bullish engulfing pattern. So that is also one of my buy condition. Now, as, as you can see, we have a longest week here. So in that case, I would like to keep my position open something like this and keep my stop loss below the wake somewhere here below 50 EMA and then go one to one initially so that is how so that is how my position would look like but as you can see we have a big stop loss and big take profit and take profit is also above the level of resistance that is why I was not comfortable to take this trade or if you want to manage it you can also keep your stop loss below the wake of the entry candle that is also fine but for the safe side I always like to keep four commodities especially below the wake and if they have 50 EMA there I would like to keep it like this way so that is one way to enter this trade if you, if you are in that trade that is how my position would look like now if you're not an aggressive trader and you want to look for another better entry in that case i would like to see a break above this rejection box as you can see we also have triple top here white here one two three and rejection three times but it is still in an uptrend so the way i want to enter my trade less aggressively it will be with a good pullback to 50 EMA if that happens or above 50 EMA but below this wick if that happens I want to see a bullish engulfer right here within this zone which is right here the green zone in case you missed this zone it is the number here in blue so that is the one condition I'll be looking to enter my buy trade if you are not in a trade and if you're looking to enter in a less aggressive way or if you're not already entered in this trade otherwise I want to see a complete break and close above this high then with a pullback and then enter another buy trade so buy trades are the conditions I want to enter as I've already entered my sell trade here I've already got my good chunk of profit so I want to take a better entry that will be either above 50 EMA or above this zone for my next pullback entry or if you have a complete break and close above this high for my next pullback entry but ideally I want to see a good push down to 50 EMA followed by bullish engulfer and take my long trade so these are the conditions I'm looking at right here on Nemex exactly the same if you want to enter, I want to see a hit of 50 EMA or this zone again below this area and then followed by bullish engulfer. If that happens, I will enter my buy trade. We do not have any buy condition on this platform, but I want to see a condition I've already mentioned. The zone here, the trend continuation zone is right at the number in blue from where I want to enter my buy trade with bullish engulfer. The next sell trades will be right here in the number in blue. This is the resistance level from where I'll be looking to enter my sell trades. Capital.com, exactly the same conditions. I'll, I'll be looking to enter bullish engulfer at 50 EMA or above this side if you have a dramatic push up from here and then i want to see a pullback to take another long trade so these are the conditions i'll be looking at to enter my trade in a less aggressive way as i've already taken this profit and i want to enter at the better price next one we have gold so gold is now pushing up and in a process of a pullback so like i mentioned yesterday i want to see another pullback followed by bullish engulfer if that happens we are good to go long so if next candle closed as a bullish candle an engulfing candle something like this but i don't want to see a very big candle a very big bullish engulfer i want to see a nice bullish engulfer that engulfs the previous candle something like this exactly something like this if we have that we have a buy signal and targets will be one atr whatever the atr is at that time it is six dollar at this point if we have an entry condition then i'll use whatever the atr is at that time right here the indicator average to range you should have these on your charts if you set your stops and target according to the atr so that's what i'm looking at next candle close as a bullish engulfer will be my buy signal and for the sell trades i want to see a push up right here in the zone the number in blue 1889.31 that goes up to 1907.01 from where i'll be looking to enter my sell trade with conditions like bearish engulfers or my double top entry conditions so keep an eye for your conditions next one we have silver silver has now pushed in the level of resistance i've mentioned in my last video that i'll be looking to enter my sell trades with conditions like this a bearish engulfer and that would have hit your target right here if you would have entered this trade 18 points is your take profit right here pushed lower more than 18 points around 30 points almost to ATR target has been hit so let me show you what i've said in my last video so that you can understand conditions and entries so getting a little flag pattern right here and once we have a break above this pattern we can get a possible push up as well and keep on taking longs till i get a good condition to enter my sell trade within this area like bearish engulfers or double 
top entry patterns. Nice one. So as you can see the price hit the take profit and now at this point what to expect from here. I want to see a candle to close back up. If we have a candle close back above the next candle close as a bullish engulfer. In that case we have another buy signal and I'm going to enter my buy trades. Otherwise if there is no conditions here we, let's say we have no signal here then for my next buy trade I want to see a push up above this high a pullback followed by bullish engulfer and keep on taking longs until the price at the next level of resistance the upper level of resistance which is right here 22.57 from where i'll see if i get a signal like bearish engulfers or my double top entry conditions keep an eye here gold is also approaching a level of resistance let's say the gold hit the level of resistance and silver is running slowly in that case we can get a fall out of gold and silver as well as gold and silver runs side by side so i keep an eye on both commodities if gold hit first and silver is still in the area of value we just have a pullback and we have a condition here in that case i'll take another shot along with gold with conditions only so the last one we have crude oil as mentioned in my yesterday's video i'm still waiting for the price to hit a rejection box right here in yellow which is 81.83 goes up to 82.62 a zone from where i'll be looking to enter my buy trades if i see a condition like something like this bullish engulfer or a nice 382 candle or a pin bar if you have that in this rejection box without a candle closing below this rejection box the wick is allowed to go but the candle cannot close below if candle closes below in that case we have a continuation towards the downside if you have a condition here i'll use 180 for my target initially stop loss will be below this rejection box take profit wherever you want to take it so before i end this video i just want to mention that if you want to join priority group for free you don't have to pay anything all you need to do just join one of my partner broker and if you join them the links are in the description of any of my video if you just scroll down here if you see right here the infx the snow commission account right here we have a different type of accounts raw spread account if you are scalper and then we have a very good account which is a pro account and minimum deposit requirement is 2k for this one otherwise this is 1k requirement for these account we have ic market as well switch market minimum deposit requirement is 1k for them and once you join them you're going to receive these area of value every week for all the commodities major commodities like silver aluminium we have copper we have sugar we have wheat we have palladium we have platinum we have coffee and then we have corn all the commodities you see here if we if i see a good setups of that then i send these zones to my members and along with that you get indices reports as well so all these indices which i'm personally looking for a good setup for for the following week and with that you also get a forex reports every week for four to seven pairs get some demand and supply zone so once you join that you get all this and you also get trade alerts one to four time a week showing you the trades the exact way of entering the way i personally enter my trade so that you can know how we enter the trade without any guesses and with that you can also dm me anytime if you have any trading related questions i will answer your dms on priority basis and if you are trading any other indices any other instrument you can always check that charts with me or any confusion trading related confusion so all that are links in the description all you need to do dm me on instagram or you can email me at support at the rate of money markers.net so that's it i want to mention before i end this video hope you trade green rest of the week see you guys in the next video till then take care